Kabene kuruwa se kaunti ya kisi, awase obote neneli uwe kia makia ODM inse yomori kio mwenene ase e kia mekio Edwin Sifuna. Babere wa kukikera chivura burue chichabere chiko ene kiwa nene ase e kaunti ya kisi. Gati umu gavana uwe kaunti ya kisi, uyubo igo ure omu konyi ebu umori kia se, usupu mnyakero go ase kia makia ODM Paul Simbarati, na bo igo omu chumbe o South Mugrango Silvana Sosoro. Anene nkubu atika na nuko saga nuko wabere wako ene kiwa kwa mwenye. Governor Ase Chinsemo Awa ichabere kawa ikirana Eri owa ikirani ya Emero Berio Yamagendro Nigobono Awa buwata nkorua seki ya mekio kia ODM Awa ruloko gania Unege tambo kero Yoko be kwa biyara Kwa bali ya baka geide Kupuata niwa Ase Bikorebio Kebe ege kobe Gose umuro berio Yobogo kwa ngo igua kegima Ase barule ama tuko Anoka Eri o obo tukibwa imbe Ego korekana Kupuata kana Na kereba Kwa tewana nobo tumeki obo be Bua banya nimbo Mwari keito omelu Dwari mamanyi Niga tuwa argenreti ya mange Kore ngana norbo Chibu raburu ni gocha wire chikuwe na kigwa asa matuko abuwe ngoiga imeye kaunti ya kisi anene mono ase bunge ya South Mogrango chinga ki omogaba na we kaunti ya kisi simba arati haba kago saga nwa aso mwega buwe kwena na chifo mchechi basa riguchia saba na we sekondali ase gati ya bantubale nga sayoba vete wa konyora chingo makuwa tika ni chibu raburu echu abuwe chitaliki isano na isato omote nyoyo iga bono ni go omori ki omonene weke magia ODM Edwin Sifuna habaka weke na naase gita seni kia banyanyi mbogi ya kisi ama naba wata ni bande yaliyoko ene kia gose obo tuki mbogi andrata igoro yege kore kyo ase bagi keire bororo ewi kore bunebio The ODM party wishes to express serious concern about the life and safety of its national vice chairperson and kisi governor His Excellency Simbarat following repeated violent attacks perpetrated by known persons in broad daylight with what appears to be tacit support and collaboration with elements of the security forces. All these incidents have been reported to the police and widely captured by both mainstream and social media, but we wish to lay them out here. Armed men stormed the meeting with gunshots, bending the air. Many people were injured in the resulting stampede. Some, including the governor's security detail, suffered gunshot wounds, and uh, the DCIO here has confirmed to me that that gentleman is still in office. It turned out in, uh, in, in hospital, it turned out that those gunmen were in fact police officers. One of the officers captured firing at the crowd with an AK-47 rifle was identified as one Kevin Lagarde. Following the public outrage over the incident and fearing a backlash, it is now understood that the police in Kisi under the leadership of the county command, Mr. Charles Cassis, are now planning a diversionary raid on the governor's residence in the guise of searching for firearms. We take this opportunity to condemn in the strongest possible terms. Ni gobo na oba mochiri ya esekta yobore ndibwa ime ye kora gwa na kiture kindiki. Aso gotagaya na engane yu. We take note of the loud silence of the CS in charge of national security, Honorable Kindiki, and the Inspector General of Police, and the entire security apparatus. Their policy appears to be see no evil and hear no evil. It is this silence, coupled with the fact that no action whatsoever has been taken either against Honorable Osoro or any of his goons in police uniform, that leads us to the conclusion that this is a state-sponsored violence approved at the highest level of the security command. Ase chinga kecho ni goba inana egatia bitambo kero bidi wagane tiwi kera nigwe. Ase gatia boya linge kwena na amatuko ikominane lioba egwe li chibu. We take this opportunity to condemn in the strongest possible terms the actions of Wanda Bosoro and the police and demand as follows. Number one, that the IG of police must immediately transfer the Kisi Police County Command. Yes. Number two, that action must be taken against the officers identified in the attack during the issuance of the Basa reform. They should be interdicted as they await their death with justice. Number three, that at the very minimum, Honorable Osoro should be asked to record a certain a statement with the police if he has become too powerful to be arrested. Number four, that the Independent Police Oversight Authority must immediately commence investigations into the abuse of police power in Kisi County. Lastly, all these things must happen within the next 14 days, failing which the party will pursue other avenues to ensure law and order in Kisi. In the meantime, we wish to state that should any harm come to our party national vice chairperson and governor of Kisi, Honorable Simba Arati, as a result of any subsequent attack against him, the person named here, the persons named here, including Honorable Osor, Police Commander Charles Kesses, and the IG of Police, 
will be held personally responsible. Yeah. Gori pote lia egeta seni kiandizi TV, ili taliane Mildred Momanye.